the director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, made a stop in Madison to talk about the importance of childhood immunizations. Dr. Mandy Cohen visited a public health Madison and Dane County clinic. Cohen said she came to Wisconsin to issue this reminder because the state has a slightly lower vaccination rate than what the CDC is seeing around the country. Health providers continue to be up against vaccine misinformation. But Cohen says a health provider could clear up your questions. First, go talk with your pediatrician or your doctor about getting your kiddos vaccinated. They are safe and effective. They protect your kids. Um, it wouldn't be something I recommend if I didn't do that for my own kids. Um, so it's really important to get good information right from, from your doctor. Data from the Wisconsin Department of Health Services shows children ages 5 and 6 saw the biggest decline in routine vaccinations in 2022. And a new study from a UW-Madison professor and her colleagues shows that during the pandemic, people who were supportive of the phrase, do your own research, believed more COVID misinformation. The study was recently published in the Harvard Kennedy School's Misinformation Review. The do your own research fans among the panel of about 1,000 respondents also grew even more skeptical and ill-informed about COVID, even as news of successful vaccine trials emerged. Here now to discuss the results of her study is Sedona Chin from the UW-Madison Department of Life Sciences Communication. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Of course. So why did you decide to dive into this topic in the first place? My co-author and I, Ariel Hazel, really got into the idea of doing your own research about a year or two before the pandemic. We'd seen a lot of posts in a lot of the wellness areas of social media, health and wellness, and they ranged from everything from buy this supplement, but I'm not a doctor, do your own research, to anti-vaccine advocates saying, I know my doctor said I should vaccinate my child, but I've done my own research and this is the best decision for my family. So we were really interested in looking more into how this idea of doing your own research was associated with people's concerns about misinformation and with their feelings and their trust in experts, as well as what information seeking people were actually doing. Well then, I'm curious, do people who are proponents of do your own research actually do their own research? Our study doesn't show any evidence that they do any more or less research than anybody else. What we found was that strong proponents of doing your own research didn't do any more information seeking on the internet, via news or social media than people who were not strong proponents. So this suggested to us that staunch support of doing your own research might have less to do with cautious information seeking and more to do with an expression of some skepticism or concerns about elites and expert information. Well, doing your own research is actually pretty good advice. So that makes the results of the study even more fascinating. So what did you find out about how this has become almost synonymous with misperceptions about things like COVID-19 and resulting in less trust in, in science and officials? That's a really interesting question and it's something that is really fascinating because doing your own research is objectively great advice. We see that patients who are more informed about their health conditions see better health outcomes. We want citizens to be informed about what the candidates on their ballots stand for. So doing your own research is great uh, advice and a great thing to do. It's the prerogative and responsibility of all of us living in a democratic society. But we also see that Sometimes doing your own research is not necessarily synonymous with actually doing information seeking. We want people to seek information from a wide variety of sources that they may agree with or disagree with. But sometimes this is, especially in the past sort of pandemic years, it's come to be seen as synonymous with misperception and misinformation. And that's sometimes, but not always the case. And how do these findings help you understand how people make sense of what's happening across platforms? Well, what's really interesting is that the vast majority of the U.S. public has a really high level of trust in scientists and experts, even throughout the ups and downs of the COVID-19 pandemic. But we do know that people do have concerns about misinformation online and about the quality of the information that they're getting, especially as the best available information we have about things like COVID is changing and evolving. And so this helps us to sort of understand maybe doing your own research is one way that people are trying to resolve that uncertainty and anxiety, but also express maybe some skepticism towards the information that they're receiving. 
Well, I would imagine if the, the some of the folks who are big proponents of do your own research, but are these people who are actually not doing it, I would imagine if they actually did their own research, do, do you think they'd be coming across the same information that they're hearing from people like scientists and journalists that they're skeptical of? Well, it's important when you're doing your own research or when you're seeking information about anything to not just rely on the information that shows up on your social media feed or that you already agree with, but to seek information from a wide variety of sources that you might not agree with, with an attitude of curiosity, just to see what's out there. How do you plan to expand on your initial findings? We're planning on doing a lot more of our own research, looking specifically at sort of how this phrase is used as a disclaimer or to persuade people, as well as what effects that seeing posts with this slogan have on people's both beliefs and whether it promotes information seeking or whether we can use this to promote information seeking. Sedona Chin, thank you so much for joining us on the show this morning and explaining the results of your study and putting them into context for us. Thank you for having me.